as time goes by, I feel like I'm getting higher and higher. Well, everything was going good until I tried to seal up this edge here. What is going on, kid family? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day we are going to be doing some welding, and hopefully we're going to fill in these exhaust leaks right over here. On today's video, we are using the Harbor Frights titanium 125 flux core welder now this little thing from what i hear is a great little welder it is a dc inverter so here are some of the things you are going to need first you're going to need some spare metal that you can practice welding on my buddy hooked it up with some thick metal that i don't think this welder will ever be able to weld as you can see that is thick this might uh, be usable here but we're going to be using this plate to start with right over here i have a digital caliper and a digital caliper what i'm going to do with it i'm going to measure the thickness of this metal so later when we're adjusting the parameters of the welder we can adjust the parameters such as the wire speed and the voltage according to the wire size accordingly to the part we are welding next we have the pipe again that we are going to be trying to patch up and over here we have wax and grease remover in this little bottle because before we start welding we're going to clean this off so there's no grease or anything contaminating this metal surface we already used the wire wheel brush in order to clean the surface area and after doing some tack welding or any kind of welding with flux core because there is slag built up we're going to be using the wire wheel to just clean off that slag always stay protected wear your gloves we're wearing some old jeans here and in a old hoodie and then again the deco the deco 4 arc sensor with the solar power and battery power charger great helmet links are in the description for some of these things if you guys are interested and the first thing we are gonna do is just try to run a couple beads right over here see if we can get some penetration if we can even lay a bead because the last two times we were welding they were just burr droppings as they call them not enough penetration just you know i'm a new welder so this is all a learning curve for me similar learning curve when i started spray painting with the high volume low pressure guns you gotta get the adjustments right you gotta get the voltage right the wire speed right the technique down properly one thing also i forgot to mention is right here i have a magnet and for me you know one of the subscribers wrote a huge comment gave me a lot of information and he said you cannot weld aluminum with this welder well i asked him how do you know if it's aluminum how do you know if it's steel how do you know what it is well he said the simplest thing you could do is take a magnet and just place it on the location you're going to be welding and if it sticks that means it is steel so that sticks and right here you can see it is sticking so both of these areas we are able to weld so as you can see it's 3.2 millimeters or 12 thousandths of an inch just about 13 thousandths of an inch so this is the material thickness that we are going to be welding we already got the parameters set up just like this the 6 e5 to f.5 and again we are using a 0.030 wire that's the one that comes factory with this welder as you can see it actually says right there that it's a 0.030 so let's turn this on let's try to lay down some beads one thing i do want to notice is i did loosen up this area right here this little piece pretty much determines how much tension is on the wire here that's being fed out now too tight and you can actually crush the little wire you can damage the structural integrity of it and you know remember there's flux in there and then cause some damages so i'm pretty much installing it with the lightest amount of pressure on here enough where it will be fed out through the through the gun right here but not too much Now the stick out is very important too guys. You don't want it too long or too short.
I'll be damned. That's the best one I've done so far. An actual bead, guys. An actual bead. And this time I juiced it up, so maybe that was the issue. Not the best, but uh, hey, we got a line of bead. I'm happy with that. Well, hell, I'll be danged. We are stacking dimes, boys. First try. Wow. Pretty happy with that. I was trying to look at the puddle and all that, but uh, it's hard to gauge. But, dude, that is beauty. Still hot right now, but dang. Maybe we'll do one more, one more pass, and I think we're ready. What's, it, what's that movie called? Uh, Training Day's Over, boys. The only thing I'm going to do different now is probably just whip it back and forth up and down a little bit here while I'm dragging it and see how the outcome is. So we're going in with a very short stick out right now. All right, those are my two welds. This one, when I was pulling down, I kept flicking it up and down, up and down. And you can see it actually doesn't look too bad. It's definitely not as stacked as this one, and it's a little bit wider. So, I don't know. I don't know why it would be wider though. Maybe because I was moving the puddle more, it kind of evened out on the sides compared to this one was mainly just dragging. Either way, both of them look fairly darn good so now what we're gonna do <laughs> now we're gonna experiment all right so for this one we are using the same voltage but we did slow down the wire feed speed I'm just curious and gonna see if there's any difference on that clearly you can see how thin it is there's not enough wire I felt like look look at all the spatter we got on the gun here too you can see it on the tip right there so not an ideal setting now what I'm gonna do same voltage increase the wire speed by a lot I burned the edge of it you see it Right on the bottom, burn the plate. All right, let me just summarize. This one was the first uh, bead we laid down with the proper settings. This bead, same settings, except we would go up and down motion. So it looked like it, it widened the bead itself. This one right here was same voltage with less wire speed. So again, if you got not enough wire speed you're gonna not get a nice weld and the best weld in my opinion right here was the one with the most wire feed speed at the same voltage all these are the same voltage the, the difference between the first and second one is technique the, the difference between these two are wire feed speed so that's a high wire feed speed this one we had at just about eight and this one we had at about four and a half so that's the difference between that anyway this one's beautiful this one's pretty nice i like those two and you know what i think we had enough practice for today you guys see how i how i burned the metal though right you see that right um i think that's enough practice for today and i think it's time to start tacking on that exhaust so if, as far as the exhaust is concerned i'm gonna start off by just trying to tack a few of these spots on the edges first see what we're what is going to happen if we're going to burn through or what not i'm not exactly sure how to fill holes like this at all so we'll see we gotta practice right yep we burned a hole right through there burning holes baby it's all burning holes here <laughs> what to do what to do turning down the voltage some more oh 
boys, as you can see, every tack we try to attempt, we are just burning a hole through it. So I'm pretty low on my settings right now. I mean, I'm pretty much at the lowest here. Let's try at the lowest on pretty much both of them. See if we if we can tack something on or it's a lost cause. And it looks like a lost cause, huh? How about we do low voltage, a lot of wire speed? Well, we got one tacked here. Let's increase the wire feed speed. Nah, not really working, guys. All right, guys, about an hour later. Very ghetto. This is what we're doing. We're taking some of the the wire we're placing it in certain areas and then we're tack welding it in a few spots to build up this layer of metal right over here now that we got majority of this covered what i'm going to attempt to do is just instead of tacking it i'm just going to try to put a little bit more heat in here try to melt this metal so it kind of lays down more flat and can cover the hole because there's the holes are everywhere still i can see them so this is going to be an exhaust like either way we're going to have to down all right guys we're reducing the speed of the wire a little bit we'll slow it down sorry for the background noise my neighbor's cutting the grass but we got a lot of metal already on here now as long as we can melt this kind of uniform it we should be good it should seal i mean there's there's some holes right on the corner there but um, let's try to melt that down one more time we'll be good to go Yeah, still, still needs way more penetration though because we're just stacking it on top of each other. See, we need, we need more penetration. Let's clean it off. Let's think we could probably increase the voltage a little bit at this point. All right guys, it's coming together, but as time goes by, I feel like I'm getting higher and higher from these fumes. My eyes are already starting to react they're more sensitive been welding here for I don't know off and on for about two hours now but this is where we are we got a lot of glob piled in I'm trying to get the edges nicely penetrated into the actual exhaust focus that in for you guys so as you can see it's slowly starting to become one got to get the edges in a little bit better and then increase the voltage just to melt the top in a little bit you see right here we were going with high voltage it kind of burned through the exhaust right there so slowly but steady we're getting somewhere well everything was going good until i tried to seal up this edge here back to square one man man oh man all right we're getting started on the other side i already put the little metals in the holes here we're gonna put some tack welds on here it's time to test this for air leaks we finished welding everything now 
First, I'm going to feel for leaks if I can feel the air hissing out. Then the next step is use some soapy water to spray on the leak and you'll see any bubbles coming out. So let's hit it. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So we primed it and painted it. It's not perfect, but nobody's gonna see it down here. We connected everything back. So far, it seems like those front and rear connections are sealed right here. I can hear like a tiny bit of a leak possibly, but uh, it's definitely not farting right from the get-go as it was before. So this is something you guys can expect. Probably about four to five hours of BS welding, uh, grinding, you know, cleaning, welding, cleaning, grinding. So yeah, I mean, depending on how much you get paid per hour, you're just better off buying a pipe like this, which I found the cheapest pipe on eBay for about $45. It's not a factory one. It doesn't have the heat shields, but you know, if you want to save yourself some time, I could have just bolted these off, put the new pipe in and called it a day. But obviously, you know, there's going to be people that want to do it, do it yourself style. So this is what you can expect. Did I go properly about doing this? I'm not sure. You know, I tried to stack it up with less voltage and then use higher voltage to seal it. Possibly that could have been a bad idea. We could have probably started off using a higher voltage from the earth. You know, once we got our initial bead on, we could have used higher voltage to seal it in. But, you know, so far it's pretty, pretty good, uh, quieter than before. We'll see once we take the car off for a spin how it is. And then, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Comment down below. Comment down below your ideas, opinions, advice, and I'll, I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. So peace out. I'm here for the